Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Hopefully you're having a happy Mother's Day. It is Joanna here with another Sunday, Sunday, Sunday video. Um, yeah, right? Just, um, the, you know, dealing with this uh, BS of life at the moment as I'm like moving shit around and, and just, you know. one of those moments of like forgetting to turn off the, the volume to the TV you know like weird weird how that works just do that you know, turn off uh, YouTube on my phone my old phone don't know why I have to specify that I'm like you know I'm just specifying it making sure everything's cool you know but yeah, it's like, oh, dealing with the housing authority, not fun, dealing with life, not good, you know? Dealing with crap, not great, you know? Oh, this originally was supposed to be a Baltimore Orioles video, and then it was originally supposed to be, you know, uh, Madden, and then it was like, I'm like, you know, what was I gonna do? I was like, oh shit, I don't want to do Madden, I don't want to do the Orioles right now, I just want to get one off the ground, you know? And uh, this is what I settled on. You know, I, I don't even know why I did the Angels at this point. I was like, Baltimore, Los Angeles. It's like, both of them, I mean, they're not. They're not really, you know, I mean, come on, right? Like, it's not not bad to do one or the other. I don't have really any ill will or connection to both of them, really. It's like... Oh, you know? Because, like, at least to me, Baltimore and Boston is not as serious as it used to be. I would kind of put Boston and, and Baltimore and the Boston and the Angels as kind of the same kind of rivals where it's like some history but not, you know, not major beef, you know what I'm saying? Like, to, to be honest with you, not major beef, just oof, you know? Of course, I, I mean, for most of my life the Orioles haven't been competitive, you know? But enough about that. It's really more about the Angels right now, as we're probably going to get whacked in this first inning, and we're not going to get whacked in this first inning, right? Went from we're going to give up a home run because they got Goldschmidt at the plate to nope, nothing. Uh, it is snowing in May in Connecticut. I am pissed. I was like, I was actually outside because I wasn't expecting it to snow. I was like, it's going to be cold, but I didn't realize it would be snowing. You know, and then, like, oh my god, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I've lived in Connecticut all my life, so I'm used to the cold in February, in January, in December, and it's snowing in May. You know, it's like one of those things where you're like, yeah, I've heard that story from my parents that it snowed in May back in the 70s. But, you know, it's like one of those things you're still not prepared for it when it happens, you know? Oh. You know, like, it's still a weird sight to see. Be like a winter wonderland out there in freaking, you know, May. That's good. At least it should be. Yay! Who whacked them instead of them whacking me? That's good. Oh. I was up all night Friday night into Saturday. I'm like. I hate that because it fucked with me uh, this Saturday as I'm recording. I was recording and I was like, I fell asleep. And I'm like, Are you kidding me? You know what I mean? I don't like that. You know, it's kind of like one of those things where you just start realizing sleep is important. I mean, not that you, not that I didn't realize that, but you know, it was like, come on. You know what I mean? Oh, 
and I felt bad because I was like talking with some friends and I just conked out. I think they don't understand. I did tell them like, yo, I was sleeping. Like I was like, I told them I didn't get any sleep and I was like in my bed. And it finally happened at like five o'clock, which is actually the worst time to do it because that's dinner time. And then your body goes, oh boy, you know what I mean? Eight at like eight o'clock at night, which is terrible for diabetes, but what you gonna do, right? You're not gonna like just starve. You know? <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Bush League. That's another Connecticut guy, George Springer. I, I, apparently he's homophobic, but I don't even know. Like, because... And I'm not saying this to excuse the behavior. I really don't like when people use homophobic behavior as someone part of the LGBT community. But I'm also someone that can forgive. You know what I mean? Clearly. So it's like one of those things where it's like in the heat of the moment, I say shit all the time. Right? But do I actually believe it? You know, that's where I kind of draw the line. If you actually believe it, then you got a problem with me. You know? And I mean, that's like a major problem. You have a minor problem with me if you just say it like offhandedly, and I'll be like, okay, not gonna deal with you, you know? But yeah. You know what I mean? It's not, uh, it's weird. Treat people with respect, basically, is the moral of the story, you know? Like, you know, I don't really know. I just thought of that because I'm like, this guy's from Connecticut, he's actually from New Britain. Which is a pretty hard place, you know? Like Hartford. It's kind of like a Hartford, you know? I really, I really thought about moving to Hartford, and then my friend was like, to, as a, he's like, um, Joanna? You realize in Hartford, they, they don't give a shit. And I'm like, yeah, no, they don't give a shit. They will literally start going in six feet on you and say, oh, I want to infect you with the coronavirus. Like, I heard that, I was like, yeah. Yeah, you got a good point, you know, stay in East Hartford. Because when, you know, you have that problem with people in the cities, oh my god. You know? It, it, that's just ridiculous, to be honest with you. I, that's, that's a, that's a, you know, I, I want to say that's not a human being right there, because... That's insane. If you're sick, please stay home. Please stay six feet away from other people. You know what I'm saying? Please do all the things to like, to pre take precautions and to, you know what I mean? Don't get other people sick like that. Like, just because you're sick doesn't mean you have to get other people sick, you know? You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's nice, right? The way I view it is like, if you do that, you're an asshole. Sorry, you, you are an asshole. You know, if you get someone else sick or infected with something by choice and without remorse, you know what I mean? You are a straight up asshole. -ish. And sometimes that is like, you know, depending on the situation, right? But sometimes it's also like when it's life and death, you know, that's not, like, that's straight up asshole-ish, you know, there's, that's the highest degree of asshole, you know, like, <sighs> you know what I mean, and that's like, that's something I can't stand with, you know what I mean, if you have a problem that communicates and it's like minor and not life-threatening, that's one thing, that's like, okay, stay home, don't have to run out to the store as much, you know, be careful. When you have a life-threatening problem, that's insane. You don't run out to the store. You do things the right way, you know? And I say the right way as in you don't be a jerk and fucking put other people in danger, you know what I mean? That's, I mean, like, that's why I don't like Hartford. And when he said that to me, I was like, yeah, that's too much, you know what I mean? Ooh, 
Ooh, we're having a good game here, and I'm getting fiery about the fucking Rona. <laughs> oh, there goes my monetization. Oops. You know? But yeah, it's like. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't like this. I don't really care, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I don't like this whole situation we're in as a country or the world, but we gotta deal with it, you know? We can't just like start infecting people willy nilly because we feel sorry for ourselves, you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. You know what I mean? That's the part that drives me nuts. If you feel sorry for yourself and you want to infect other people, I have a problem with you. You know what I mean? If you are legit asymptomatic and you don't know that you are carrying this this this, this disease, this virus, that's one thing. And you go oh to the store and you all of a sudden realize, oh my god, you know, but. You know, if you're not, like, if you're just saying, I'm going to infect you on purpose, that's when I'm going to, like, that you got nothing, I don't have sympathy for that, you know, I'm pretty empathetic, but that's one of those things, I literally go, if you die, I don't give a shit, you know? You know what I mean? Every, a lot of other, like I said, a lot of other situations, I can handle it, like, you know, but that one not so much. Oh. And I ordered a bike tire, got the tube today. I am pumped on Saturday. So it's Sunday, I'm waiting for the tire, which is kind of a, not a fun thing. Because I want to get the fuck out of here. I want to do my own thing. I got my own things to do, you know. I got fucking laundry to do, you know, I got, like, lots of that, because again, I can't have nice things, I got the, the fucking, so, you know, if you've ever replaced a bike tire, you know that, hey, it's all, it's one, it's two parts, tire and tube, so rubber and tube, you know, you know, so it's like weird to like constantly have to order that shit and then be like, you know, because to be honest with you, I could replace the bike tire, the tube, but I wonder how you replace the tire. You know, is it important to do certain things? Is it different than replacing a tube? I could do that in a little bit when I'm done making this video, but you get what I'm saying. Do you know how to like do that? You know? I'm not asking like a question for the audience, I'm just saying, you know, it's like one of those things where it's like, leave it in the comments if you know how to do that specific task. You know, if you do, that's great, but, because I don't always pay attention to comments. I mean, I only have, what, a few people that comment on my videos, which I appreciate a lot, you know? And I appreciate anybody that leaves a comment, leaves something helpful, but on that subject, I gotta admit, you know, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'm very cautious with like people that I let into my life. You know what I mean? And that's one of those things people gotta understand. I, it's not anything against people that want to be friends with me or watch my videos. It really isn't. I love you guys, but I, I don't like, you know, I don't mix that. You know what I mean? Like, trust me, if you leave a comment and we develop something that's different, but you know, if it's like this, just, you know, you know what I mean? I, I take things slowly because I've been burned through leaving, through getting like people interested in the, in what I do. And then they contact me at all hours of the night, you know, you know what I mean? So it's like, come on, like I've had that moment with someone like they were like, Oh, we want to play Madden. And I'm like, yeah, like, but not at 12 midnight. Like, and that's the one thing, I, I, I don't even want to party at 12 midnight, if we're being honest. Like, in my mind, when I'm at that point in time, it's called, do things I can do by myself so I have control over when I need to stop them, you know? So making a video, fine, because I have control over that and I could stop it. Fucking anything else, 
Not so much. That was a great play. Right? That was a pretty damn good play, I gotta say. You know, so we're just like... Just gonna constantly... Uh, so weird. So weird in the world right now. Yeah, I'm like... I was, I was like, you know, one of the things I always hate when I'm, and this is like a funny thing I do, is if I say like, hey, you know, I'm going to do a double header, I'm literally like the one person that will freak out if I make one video. To the point where I literally scrap everything if I don't get this video done. You know, that, that's where I like just look, look at myself, I'm like, fool! You know, let's look at the weather for tomorrow because it shouldn't be this bad tomorrow. You know, 61 degrees. Uh, yeah, that's nice. 61 degrees isn't too bad. And also, I, I want to bring my bike to, you know, to my, to my parents' house. Like, at least. Like, you know, at least honestly, the reason I want to do that is more of like one of those things where it's like, you know, get some, my dad's pretty good with this shit, and like, you know, get some more eyes on it and just say, fuck it, you know what I mean? The, first baseman, number 44. the other reason is he has an air compressor, air compressor, so that's a little bit helpful too, you know? I have a pump. Actually, the pump is not that bad, if we're being really honest here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not, like, whew, not really happy about that hit. I had a great game until this point, you know? And there goes my dreams! Woo! You know? Having a really shut out game, but no. Let's see what time we're at. Because, like, at this point, it's, like, more about not losing the video, you know? You know what I mean? <sighs> I hate my fucking old phone, in a way. You know why? It doesn't matter because it's got black spots all over it. So it's like, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, so we're at like 17 minutes. Not in the video. Like, that was a miss. I misspoke. I got 13. Wait, wait, 18 minutes into the video, you know? Well, well that sucks. Right, like that sucks for me, you know, a little bit because I'm like bouncing off the walls here. I really don't, I don't know. Sometimes I make these videos and I'm just like, you know, it's like tough to keep talking, but it's also tough to like know when you're just rambling too. You know, it's like, come on, you know, what I mean, this is unscripted rambling, you know, so I don't know, like, and then like. The other thing is, like, I, when I drink all this that Coke, which I'm doing right now, it's, like, tough to be, like, focus, focus, don't take out the headphone jack and put in fucking YouTube, you know? That guy's a good player. I gotta say, Chicago, you're gonna love him, you know? When they do eventually resume baseball. Really? Oh. Yeah, I've, I was a, um, one of my brightest moments I've ever had in my life. And I'm saying that with sarcasm, just in case you all don't get it. When you run out with shorts, t-shirt, no jacket, you know, and I'm like looking at myself like, yo. Because I went out to the gas station near me to get some, to get the soda. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to drink my soda and get my num nums on and have fun. And then boom. I'm like, the gas station is fucking locked. It's not closed. It's a 24-7 station. 
But I'm literally like sitting out there. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna get sick. I'm gonna get fucked. And there's no point in returning back home because obviously, you know, why would you return home if you've already gone that far, you know? Lose, lose situation, you know? I feel great now, but I'm also like not stupid, you know. I almost want to take a warm shower, you know. It's like one of those things you start realizing this is ridiculous, man. You know. Yeah, that's not good. Oh. oh man, I'm just so excited. I got the bike tube. The thing is with the tire, the tire is all worn, so it's got to get replaced, you know? That's the one thing that sucked, you know? About getting new tires, like, ugh. Because the tube is one thing, like, I've, you could, like, <sighs> for those of you who don't know what I'm saying, is when a bike tire goes flat, you can replace the tube and get away with it. But when the tire is bulging, you can't do that, you know? It's like a little tougher. Oh, I, I love that shit though when you're just like, yo, this is not good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What, what can I say? I'm a sucker for having to spend money and like, my mom's like, oh, you should have a rainy day fund. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, easy to say, you know? Hard to do, but easy to say. And luckily, I kind of did, because I, I had to pay off my credit card bill, so I luckily had some money on that to go out and get this shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, come on. That's good. Um, hmm. Do I quit now with the video? I mean, I'm going to save the game. Don't get it twisted. But quit the game and, you know, quit the video because I don't like to lose on camera. I'm literally the sorest loser. <sighs> but I'm also like, I'm also like one of those things. I, I really kind of, because mm, I've already made the video long enough, you know? And we're doing two videos on Sunday, so it's Mother's Day, so it's like one of those things where, yeah, I mean, come on, not not hard here. You know? It's also like, you know, I mean, I'm well aware of my status. You know, I'm not a jerk. You know, I'm not gonna say, you know, I've already kind of hit the the bottom mark. You know, when I do that timer, it's literally just so I know, hey, what am I gonna hit? You know. The worst thing is to know you jumped and not to know what's underneath, you know? Yeah, so we're, we're already at like 20 something minutes here. Those are kings on deck. I'll just leave it in there and see what happens. Yeah, that was good. Luckily. Lucky. Right? Lucky, ducky, and crispy. Alright, um, hmm. Just like. I also feel bad every time I say I'm gonna end the video and then I'm like nope I'm gonna end the video then nope you know uh, depends like I really don't want to do things that way but, you know, let's just get something going the bullpen yeah this is a shit bullpen <laughs> this sucks we suck we're failures I can live with that like if you got a in the early April when you don't have to like worry about selling the whole farm to get help, you know? Alright, so he's throwing 54 pitches. He's not very stamina friendly, I guess. Uh, right. Hopefully we don't lose power here. Which was tough. Boy, Okay, that's good. There's my cap. 
And, uh, yeah, I should do like dishes too. You know, I'm like trying to balance my time here because I got like a couple, whew, couple of hours until, not a couple hours, a couple, you know, it's going to take like an hour to transfer all the files I got, you know, onto a drive, onto the plate, onto the computer, and then back to the internet, you know. So that's how it's done, folks. From PlayStation to drive to computer. And uh, that's how I do it. So, um, yeah, I guess we're talking about, like, I don't know, it's really not inside baseball. It's more like what you do at this point, you know? I'm going to take this computer and not leave it on the plane. It's more like a dumbass. I was like, oh, that was smart. At least if you sit on it, you know what happens. You step on it, you're you done half up, you know? No ball! Two strikes! Alright, um Maybe this end of the half inning here. Just again, there's no uh, no upside, no nothing. Up next to the Angels. The first base base. Probably not gonna get it get any more runs at this point. So yeah, I really want to thank y'all for watching. And I just say that as I hit a monster home run there. So yeah, good good on me for being a huge fortune teller. Hey, right, that was like what? I hit a huge ass bomb on that one. Oh man, I like I like having him and Bellinger for two reasons. One, they're versatile, and two, they can play first base, you know? So it's like one of those things, you just run into that, and you're just like, mm. You know what I mean? They're versatile, like, guys that you can put in the outfield at times, or third base. I put them at third base sometimes. I don't know why. And, like, I just love that flexibility for, like, athleticism, you know? get more runs out of this because we got the heart of the order here basically and not like a wimpy heart of the order They're basically guys that can go deep you know George Springer clearly is one of the better power hitters in baseball so that's good alright hmm. I, I don't know I'm just like it's good because I'm getting closer to my timer actually going off, but it's also like, that's bad. One ball, two and I was like, it was good until I decided to be a fucking idiot. So I had a pitch that was not even close. Right. And then I hammered it back over to the fence. Yay! Oh, that's nice. Oh, he robbed me. He took it back. He said, I had enough of your bowl. Alright, so that that was cool, man. That was a good one. That was... He, he went up and got that shit. Okay. So, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Have a happy Mother's Day. And love your mother. Alright. Bye.